Gerslauer explained. Gerslauer is a relatively young German amusement ride manufacturer, famous for their compact yet thrilling roller coaster models. The company was founded in 1981 by Hubert Gerslauer, a former employee of Schwarzkopf Industries. Interestingly enough, it's Hubert's ties with the Schwarzkopf company that led to the production of Gerslauer roller coasters and other theme park attractions. Since their formation, the manufacturer has successfully installed over 80 roller coasters worldwide, the majority of which were constructed within the last five years. The founder of Gerslauer, Hubert, left Schwarzkopf Industries in 1981 to found his own company, Gerslauer Electro. The business itself was created to produce pneumatic, electrical and control equipment for most of the rides constructed by the Schwarzkopf company. However, in 1992, Schwarzkopf Industries declared bankruptcy and ceased the production of roller coasters and other rides. At this point in time, Hubert Gerslauer purchased the former Schwarzkopf facility and began the production of their own amusement park attractions. As the company has developed over time, so too has its range of products. In 2007, the name of the organization was changed to Gerslauer Amusement Rides, a better reflection of the services on offer. The first roller coaster produced by the German company came in the form of Gesenktesau, a Gerslauer bobsled coaster. The model resembles that of the widely produced non-spinning Wild Mouse, featuring many of the same tight twists and turns. However, unlike these models, the bobsled coaster offers more creative layer options through the use of bank drops and compact helix elements. As a result, Gerslauer has modified the well-loved Wild Mouse coaster to offer a more thrilling ride that suits all members of the family. The rides manufacturer quickly went on to diversify its selection of attractions by introducing a family coaster model. Like many other roller coaster manufacturers, Gerslau's family coaster offers an exciting layout with a moderate thrill level. The rides often feature a large number of curves and bank drops through which a long train navigates. The model was quickly succeeded by the introduction of the junior coaster what is essentially a smaller version of the family coaster designed specifically for younger children. The success of these two similar ride experiences has been fairly limited. However, with the introduction of Fire Chaser Express and recently Pegas Express, the Gerstau family coaster has seen a spike in popularity. Both of these attractions offer ride experiences with relatively large drops, tight turns and backwards launches it seems that the company has become the go-to for creating large-scale family coasters. In 2003, coupled with the introduction of the junior coaster, the manufacturer debuted what is arguably their most iconic roller coaster model. Gerslau's Eurofighter quickly put the company on the map, offering large thrills in a compact and affordable form. The prototype model, Wildsvidna, was the world's first roller coaster to feature a drop angle greater than 90 degrees. Since then, the German company has continued to push limits, creating a world record holding roller coaster with a maximum drop angle of 121 degrees. At the time of its introduction, the Gerslauer Eurofighter was quite revolutionary. The model features a vertical lift hill, which carries riders on their backs to the highest point of the ride. The smaller Eurofighter trains seat only six or eight guests, but therefore allow for a more nimble ride experience. These factors have made the coasters ideal additions for smaller parks and those with little space for new rides and attractions. Since 2003, a large range of Eurofighters have been constructed around the world, ranging from large-scale thrilled coasters such as Takabisha at FujiQ Highland to story-driven, immersive experiences like Mystery Mine at Dollywood. Only a single year after the debut of Gerslau's most iconic roller coaster model, the company introduced yet another popular attraction the spinning coaster. At this point, the manufacturer took a different approach to the design of its spinning cars compared to other companies in the past. All Gerstau spinning coasters feature singular trains that seat four riders in two rows of two. These rows face each other, however, leading to an intimate ride experience with the guests seated opposite. In principle, the layouts featured within the spinning model are similar to those of the bobsled coaster. Both feature bank drops as well as many tight twists and turns. Naturally, the spinning model focuses on the free rotation of the trains as they navigate the layout. Therefore, the experience often consists of many helix elements in the hopes that riders spin quickly. 
After the construction of several new attractions for a variety of theme parks, Gerslauer introduced two new roller coaster models. Firstly, in conjunction with an external manufacturer of wooden theme park attractions, Gerslauer produced Mammut, a wooden roller coaster. The unique attraction offers a smooth and exhilarating, yet family friendly ride experience. It's unknown whether Mammut was a one of a kind construction or a roller coaster model on offer due to the partnership of two manufacturers. Nevertheless, the ride debuted alongside Gerslauer's second new introduction, its launch coaster. This model utilizes LSM technology, as well as small six seat trains, to propel riders to a high top speed quickly and efficiently. Both of the two launch coasters produced so far feature distinct top hat elements, as well as a compact Eurofighter-like layout. However, the launch coaster quickly became obsolete, as only a year after its debut, Gerslauer introduced launches to its Eurofighter model. The first came in the form of Flug von Novgorod, a Eurofighter featuring both an LSM launch as well as a vertical chain lift hill. Since then, the company has continued to integrate launches into other models rendering the standalone launch coaster useless. Aiming to expand and improve on the capabilities of the Eurofighter, Gerslauer introduced the Infinity Coaster, what it considers to be an unlimited amount of fun combined with innovative technology. The Infinity Coaster model is a more versatile and customizable attraction which still maintains the compact nature of its predecessors. Unlike the Eurofighter, which features a singular train length, the Infinity Coaster could seat anywhere between 8 and 32 riders, arranged in rows of 4. On top of this, the rides can feature both LSM technology, as well as the iconic vertical lift hill seen on other Gerstau roller coasters. With the introduction of the Infinity Coaster, came the major shift towards a lap bar design. The model ships with lap bars as standard, offering a more comfortable and spacious ride experience. The first debut of the model came in the form of the Smiler, in 2013. The Smiler broke records for featuring 14 inversions, the most of any single coaster worldwide. It also features two lift hills, one of which is vertical. Alongside the Smiler came Carajo, a launched infinity coaster, utilizing the more widely seen eight person trains. The reception to Gerslau's latest roller coaster model has been positive, resulting in numerous installations at various theme parks. The Infinity Coaster has seemingly replaced the custom Eurofighter by offering higher quality thrills and a better ride experience. However, multiple versions of the stock Eurofighter layout continue to sell to smaller theme parks and those with limited space. Due to Gerstlau's small number of roller coaster models, it's often quite easy to establish their rides from other manufacturers. The company's family oriented roller coasters utilize a flat dual rail track design featuring a triangular lattice. While on the larger scale thrill attractions, the track is triangular in shape, formed by a third spine rail. Between the three rails are further triangular lattices, providing added strength to the track. Gerslauer are also a manufacturer of roller coaster trains for a variety of clients. They have produced numerous wooden roller coaster trains for a range of attractions constructed by Custom Coasters International as well as SNS. The company also provided hybrid roller coaster trains to Rocky Mountain Construction for their first two large scale projects. On top of this, Gerstlauer manufactures a range of flat rides and other theme park attractions. Most notably, the German company produces giant ferris wheels in a range of sizes. The manufacturer has also sold a large quantity of Skyfly flat rides, a popular attraction in which guests can control their rotation as they navigate the skies. This means that riders can undergo an intense experience with multiple inversions or a casual and scenic flight. Gerstlau also offers an alternative tower-based version of the ride with a higher maximum capacity. Another unique attraction under the company's product range is the Kiddy Racer, an extremely small-scale children's roller coaster. The tiny ride has been a huge success, resulting in 10 models being sold around the globe since 2014. It's quite clear that Gerslauer, as a manufacturer of amusement rides and attractions, is becoming a more popular choice for theme parks worldwide. The majority of the company's roller coasters and flat ride models are enjoyed and loved by many. This is especially true of the manufacturer's infinity coasters, which have all gained praise from the theme park enthusiast community. 
Hopefully Gerstlauer continues to innovate and direct some aspects of the industry by providing a newer and larger range of amusement products. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. If you'd like an insight into Coastabot videos before they go live, be sure to follow me on Twitter as well as Facebook and Instagram. The links to all three can be found in the description below.